I'm Alex Howard. And welcome to the final of these videos, which are just picking out some of the key principles in our OHC and ME, or OHC and ME, Solving the Puzzle uh, Information Pack. In the previous videos, we've explored the different subtypes in chronic fatigue, ME, and fibromyalgia. We also looked at the different stages of the recovery path. And in this video, we're going to look at some of the bodily systems which are impacted and involved. And you might want to have the information pack on the screen in front of you to um, just reference what we're talking about. So there's obviously a number of different bodily systems which are impacted in this group of illnesses. And that's obviously more than I can go through in a, in a short video. But I wanted to pick out two, which are the same two, which are in the uh, information pack document, which are really critical to help us understand some of the unique symptoms we can experience in fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, and ME, which, when you understand them, gives a whole different reference point to what's happening. So the first of these systems is looking at what we call maladaptive stress response. One of the things which is really quite unique about this group of illnesses is normally if you're ill with something, you go and see the doctor and you get a diagnosis, you get a path of treatment, you get an explanation of why you've got your symptoms, you get a time scale, and you hopefully then recover, or if you don't recover, you've at least got clarity and understanding of the journey and the process of what's happening. What's unique about this group of illnesses is there isn't that, like, that clarity. You don't really know what's wrong with you. I mean, labels like chronic fatigue, ME, fibromyalgia tell you very little about the actual bodily processes of what's going on. In fact, Modern medicine has gone as far as to say they're medically unexplained illnesses. That's one of the kind of buzz terms which has been going around the last few years. And so well, you don't have that clarity. You don't know what's wrong with you. You don't know why it's wrong with you. You don't know whether you should rest or push yourself, although the previous video on stages can help us understand that. You don't know when you'll recover, if you'll recover. It's incredibly anxiety-inducing. It's not true to say that people with this group of illnesses are ill because they're anxious. It is true to say that they often have anxiety as a result of being ill. The problem is, being in that state of sympathetic nervous system arousal or a maladaptive stress response, so a stress response which has become maladaptive, is it leaves your body in the exact opposite state of what it needs to be to be able to heal. And so when we're meant to be resting, actually our nervous system is stimulated. The body isn't healing. We're meant to be sleeping. We're not dropping as deeply into sleep as we need to. The body's not healing. We're with someone, we're doing some activity and we're enjoying doing something, except we're not because the system's so tight and so rigid, we're not in a healing state so much of the time that after a while, what that means is even if the thing that caused us to get sick in the first place is no longer true, so let's say, for example, we had a virus, we haven't got it anymore. Or let's say that we were dealing with major trauma, but not dealing with it anymore. What causes us to get sick may not be what's stopping us from healing. What's stopping us from a healing is that our nervous system is overstimulated. And that has all kinds of impacts on our bodily function. It impacts on our immune system, it impacts on our nervous system, it impacts on our digestive system. And so one of the key principles of the work that we do here at the Optimum Health Clinic in our psychology department is teaching people specifically how to get their body into a healing state. This is not meditation, it's not yoga, it's not um, psychotherapy, it's not hypnosis. It's a specific approach of understanding the ways and the thought processes where our system is overstimulated, how to stop those patterns and calm the system down. And that alongside a wider approach of coaching, of understanding subtypes, stages, really makes up a lot of what we do in our psychology department. So learning to turn off that maladaptive stress response is crucially important. And that was part of the essence of a paper we published in Medical Hypothesis um, several years ago. The other system I want to look at is mitochondrial function. This is effectively your body's cellular energy production. And it's about the recycling of ATP and ADP. And there's a process of what happens in your cells of almost like being a battery which is self-generating. What happens in mitochondrial malfunction in chronic fatigue, ME, fibromyalgia, is that recycling process stops happening effectively. And that's where you can do an activity 
and say you'll go for a walk. Uh, you'll find doing the activity, you're even fine the next day, you might feel a little bit overstimulated, but you're basically okay. Then the third day, you have an almighty crash. And you think, well, how could I possibly, I was fine then, I was fine the next day, how could that lead to a crash here? That delayed fatigue response is due to the ineffective recycling of that process. Understanding what's causing either blockages in that process, giving more fuel of the core ingredients that support the Krebs cycle, or that cycling process, can have a huge impact. In fact, one of the things that's kind of interesting at the moment is this has become a real buzz area for research in this group of conditions. We were doing mitochondrial testing over a decade ago, and we've been having extraordinary results of people working in that way. It's only one of a number of systems, and so one of the things that can happen is people will call us up and say, I want mitochondrial function testing, and I want to have the, the, the intervention and protocol you do for that. It's not always the thing that's most important for people. I more talk about it because it's a powerful example of the fact that this group of illnesses, one of the things which I mentioned a bit earlier in this video with the maladaptive stress response, is that sense of mystery, that sense of like, what's, like, what's really happening in my body? Why do I feel this way? that actually much of what medicine says is a mystery isn't a mystery. There are real explanations of the physiological processes which are creating symptoms. Understanding that is crucial to understanding what to do to go forwards and developing effective intervention. And so there's much more I can say about systems, but it gives you a little bit of a flavor of some of the bodily systems we will look at, and then we have protocols for and ways of working with. If you would like to find out more about how the Optimum Health Clinic might be able to help you, the best next step is to book a free 15-minute chat. And you can do that by filling in a form or emailing us, and then we'll call you, one of our new patient coordinators will call you, find out the details of your own experience with chronic fatigue, ME, or fibromyalgia. And we'll then explain a bit about how we may be able to help if we think we can help. And they'll then schedule you a call with one of our practitioners in our psychology team and or our nutrition team. And they will then answer your questions in more detail to help you make a fully informed choice if you feel like and we feel like we may be able to help you on the path to recovery. So if you're curious at this point, if what I've been saying in these videos and through looking at the information pack and watching the documentary film that we made 10 years ago, if you find that is interesting in any way, please do book a 15 minute chat it's completely free. There's no pressure to sign up for anything. It's simply a way of you finding out more about what we do and us seeing if we feel that we can help you on the path to recovery. So I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to hopefully us having the chance to work with you and support you on the path to recovery. Mm -hmm.